Hello Aquarius. Um, first message that I see coming through here, and this is really, really important. Um, it's I never say this for Aquarius, but I feel like some people are really going to aggravate you for the next two weeks, okay? So I feel like a lot of the times you communicate very well. And when you're upset, it's usually not like, you know, uh, over something um, or over something trivial. It's usually when you're upset at other people, it's usually because of uh, your perception that they're not competent. OK, so it, it could be like an authority figure. It could be somebody you're working with where they're supposed to fulfill a specific role. They have a very clearly defined, you know, um, role in that company, in that organization, a very clearly defined uh, set of tasks that they're supposed to do. And when they don't know how to do it and when you have to, you know, m multiple times, like explain it to them. I feel like you get very frustrated when somebody proves that they are incompetent, okay, or you perceive them to be incompetent. And so I feel that you want to, um, you, you want to just, you know, calm down from this energy. Because first of all, if somebody is, um, is competent, is competent or incompetent, it has to do with, you know, cognitive abilities. It has to do with just uh, the way our brain is wired, right? Some people are visual learners. Some people are, are uh, learn through doing, learn by doing. And so people have different learning styles, okay? So maybe the way that you're teaching them might not be appropriate to their learning styles. And either way, cognitive performance um, across the board is going to vary based on somebody's upbringing, on somebody's... Um, innate you know intelligence and so we can't get mad at people over things that they can't change right okay so i feel like this is a a, a losing battle uh rather than getting frustrated i feel like you want to ask them follow-up questions and just be like by the way why did you do it like this rather than like this or asking them like um you know is there anything i can help you with because it feels like you're not understanding what i'm saying or is there anything that you i need to help you with because you seem like you might not clearly understand the objective here you know like try to soften the blow a little bit because i feel like otherwise you know you're the only one getting upset okay so just be very careful about that i feel like you're dealing with somebody who is um, very scattered, like their, their energy, their focus, they might have attention problems, they might be very, very, very forgetful. So I feel like, no wonder you're upset. But once again, you know, if it's like somebody who's younger, if it's somebody who you feel like, oh, they're so incompetent. Well, the thing is, maybe they need, you know, uh, a walkthrough maybe they need you to you know a, a little bit more hand holding because it feels to me like they're not ready yet they need more input they need more uh advice or counsel from from their environment okay um i feel like there's going to be solid dis uh, discussions here you have a discussion with somebody regarding a work situation and uh, i feel like they're going to present you with offers so it feels to me, once again, there's going to be major, major important discussions that you need to be there for. And I feel like, I, I feel like they're, you know, they're asking questions. It seems like, you know, there's like a list of questions they're asking you. So it feels more like a job interview. Once again, it feels like a job interview to me. And I feel that it's, it's almost like, you know, they, they want to test your strengths. They want to test your weaknesses. Okay. Um, the other thing I'm feeling as well is um, financially, I mentioned that you really need to curb your spending for this month because um, I mentioned in the mid-month reading or I believe the, the the advice reading for May, one of those where there's a lot of, uh, it's like expenditures that you need to take care of and I feel like they're last minute, you know, unplanned expenditures, okay? So keep a rein on your spending and make sure that um, you... Just make sure that you save up for a rainy day. I feel some of you are shifting money between different bank accounts. And I feel that you are seriously looking at a big financial investment opportunity. So um, I'm seeing like, you know, stocks, bonds, savings even. Um, and also like um, investing in something very tangible. Okay, so could be like petroleum, could be gold, could be... I feel like it's something very, very tangible, something that is... Uh, valuable, tangible. And so 
I'm sensing as well um, that you want to really grow your, this is a, a big month where I feel like, you know, money has the potential to multiply. And um, I do sense as well, there's going to be a lot of communication and a lot of travel. I see an, a water sign here, very, very heavy water sign. So this is showing up here as the King of Cups. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of discussions about between you and this person. And I feel like this person is making you an offer. And it seems to me like some of you are more interested in like, you know, where's my career headed? Where's my life headed? Where are things headed for me on the professional level? And so I feel like there's this kind of like back and forth energy with this water sign and you still haven't made up your mind yet. Okay. Um, I do see a very, very big um, pregnancy vibe for some of you. So I feel like if that's uh, the case, you know, congratulations. Um, unwanted pregnancy, if that's the case too, you want to be a little bit careful. Okay. So Aquarius, take care of yourself. It's going to be a very dynamic two weeks. Okay. So uh, I wish you the best. I'll talk to you next month. Bye-bye.